Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm continuing my video series clip decorations with video number four. Click the links above for part one epoxy clips, part two fun clips, part three for clip dangles. Now today I'm sharing bulldog clips and how to add a bit of flair using paper smooches dies. Look how cute these are. And then adding gems, pearls, tassels, and fabric. Now these are super easy to create. Just follow these simple steps. First we need to gather some supplies. You'll need some bulldog clips and I found these at the craft store for super cheap. They were less than two dollars. And I think I actually used a coupon on them. That was perfect because I love to save money. <laughs> You can also use just regular old, what are these called? Binder clips. You can also use these as well. Okay, so now you'll also need your paper smooches dies. And there are lots of different shapes and dies that you can use. Um, but I'm going to be using the butterfly images from the Butterfly Duet set. Why? Because I love my butterflies. I really do. They're super cute. But honestly, I cannot wait to get some green vinyl because I think I'm going to do that cactus die. It's just so cute. You also need some paper or some vinyl or leather, and because I have so much leather, I literally have to use this up. That's what I'm gonna use. I also think that leather is good for this uh, clip decoration because it might last longer. Now, if you want more flair, you're gonna pull out some gems and pearls and tassels and even some of the little dangles that I made before and uh, jump rings. You also need some pl jewelry pliers and you might even need some fabric for later. Oh, and you, you will need some glossy accents or some sort of adhesive. So the first thing we do is die cut our image. So let me clear my space. And I've already die cut some because um, I've taught this before. When you die cut out of leather, it doesn't always go through the leather piece so it die cuts the front and then you just take your little fine tipped scissors and just go right around the image and it and it really cuts it out real easy um, so no worries there I'm not gonna do it on camera because I've done it so many times before but when you do that this is what you get next we're gonna add a bit of adhesive to the back of it and I think I'm gonna use this pink one so we're gonna pick one of our butterflies and we're going to add a bit of adhesive to the back of it and then attach it to our clip. Now, wait a minute, let me talk to you for a second. On your clip, you can attach your butterfly or die cut image anywhere you want. You can do it to the bottom or to the top. I normally like to do it at the top so that when I push on it, that's where I'm, that's how it opens up the clip. But I think today, I'm just gonna be a little bit different. We're going to attach it to the center down here. I think that will still look good. I can still um, open up the clip by pushing up the top. Um, so that's where I'm gonna do it. So all you wanna do, take your clip, flip over your die, attach a, uh, or add a little bit of glue. Well, maybe it's not even opening. Hmm. Hold on, live camera. This is how we do it. I'm gonna make a little hole, okay. Let's start this again. Gather your clip, take your die cut, and add a bit of glue to the back. And I don't know if you can see how much glue I have on there. Just a little bit. And then flip it over, and we're going to attach it to your clip. It's that easy, literally. How cute is this little clip? Oh my goodness. Now, let's add a little bit more. I'm gonna add this gold little butterfly to the center. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just add a little bit of glue. Not sure if you can see how much glue I have on there. And I'm just gonna add it to the center of that butterfly. And I'm gonna let it dry. I love it, it's so cute. So you can stop here or continue to add more flair. Now to make one with gems, pearls, or tassels, you wanna start attaching your gems first. That way you don't close up the little hole on your uh, clip. <laughs> Oh, I've done that before. So we want to start with our gems and other jewelry pieces. So let's make a couple of pieces. So after I've created all my jewelry pieces, we're going to attach them to the clip using our jump rings. So I'm just going to open it up 
and place it in the hole. Close it up. Now I'm not very good at jewelry making, but this is pretty simple. So my tassels are on there. And I think I want to add, um, I'm going to do a pearl as well. Okay, now that you have all your pieces on here, you're going to attach your die cut like before. So we're just going to take our die cut, add a little bit of glue. Now you can see it much easier on this leather piece. And we're going to attach it to our jump ring, or not to our jump ring, to our clip. And I'm attaching it at the top. So you can see some of the glue, oops, there it is, there's the camera. Some of the glue has come through, and that's all right. No big deal, it will dry clear. But we're going to just let this sit and dry. So cute, I love it. I can't wait to use it. And there we are, we're done. Now, if you wanna do even more flair, um, we're going to add some fabric. And we're gonna start by adding that first. So let me, I think I'm gonna do a hot pink one. And I think I like, I really like the rainbow colors cause it's super fun and you can add any color of gem and tassel with it. And we're just gonna take our fabric and they're in super small strips. You're just gonna fold it over and you're going to feed this through your clip hole. Now this might take a little while. Probably will take me extra long because I'm on camera, but trust me, it does work. Obviously, I've got them over there. <laughs> but remember, we're on live camera. Actually, I might even take my pliers and pull them through. There we go. And I actually pull them out together at the same time and I make a hole in the center where they've come together. And then you just take your other end pieces through this hole. So I'm going to pull them through with my fingers and then I'm going to pull up. Now to get more of the fabric to show I'm gonna pull each of these individually and pull, twist them and pull forward. See how this one is backwards? I'm going to pull it forward this way. And I might even have to pull it, twist it and pull it that way. There we go, that's better. And then this one, pull it forward so it shows. Twist it, manipulate it. This one's backwards as well. And let's see where I can pull him. Oop, I gotta pull him this way. So just play with your fabrics until they're showing in the front and you want them really nice and tight like that. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? I love it. And then we're going to cut them. So, I mean, you can leave them this long if you want. Actually, I kind of like them that length. And I love them when they're ratted and tatted. It looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna leave them like this. And I am going to add this little itty bitty dangle that I uh, created in my last video. And I'm going to just open up my jump ring. I'm going to attach this to the hole that's underneath this. Now I probably should have done this first, but uh, what are you going to do? Live video. There we go. I'm gonna close this up after I attach my dangle. It wasn't too hard to do it the second time, but if you want an easier project, add your dangle first. <laughs> oh, don't do what Stab says. Do what I say, but... Well, not what I say, but you know. You know what I mean. Oh my goodness, you could just leave it like this. How cute is that? I just love it so much. Honestly, I quite like it like this. How cute is that? Just manipulate my fabrics a little bit more. 
Okay, maybe I'll add a little bit of flair with the butterfly. What butterfly should I use? Do I have any others? Or maybe I will. Oh, here's one. Oh, let's use this one. Now, the cool thing about this is you can add your butterfly straight to the fabric. So, we'll just flip this over, add a bit of glue, and attach it to the fabric. And there you have it. It is so easy, literally. I mean, I had a couple of struggles due to live video. What are you gonna do? But it's super easy. And now you can add these little clips to your planners, your sab dories, or your books. I hope that you will try making some of these bulldog clips. There are so many paper smooches dies that you can use for your decorations. Be sure to link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out how you were inspired by our videos, tips, and tricks. Thanks so much for watching.